Greetings, Elliott School graduates of the class of 2020. My name is Alex Downs, and I'm deeply honored to be named this year's recipient of the Harry Harding Teaching Award, and especially honored to be able to speak with you on this very special day, even if it's from my house instead of the stage of the Smith Center. I would like to thank Dean Brigady and all my faculty colleagues at the Elliott School for bestowing this award upon me this year. Most of all, though, I would like to thank my students who, over the years, have helped me to become a better teacher. To be honest, as a card-carrying member of the Introverts Club, I never thought I would win a teaching award. It took time for me to find my style in the classroom, but I never stopped trying to improve. And look, here I am. 2020 has been a bit of a crazy year, but it's a big year for you, and it's actually a big year for me too. It's the 25th anniversary of my personal version of The Decision. No, I did not decide to take my talents to South Beach and join the Miami Heat on live television. No, I just decided to leave my career as a, as a classical musician uh, and go back to graduate school in a completely different field, political science. There's a good story that I've brought. I'll save it for another day. Of course, there was a tiny flaw in the plan, which was that no self-respecting political science PhD program wanted anything to do with an ex-musician who had taken all of three political science classes in his life. But did that deter me? For some reason, no. A year later, I moved to Chicago and started from scratch in a master's program in international relations. Two years later, I got into a bunch of PhD programs, and I stayed at the University of Chicago because, well, that's where fun goes to die, right? A few years later, I finished my degree and got a job as an assistant professor. Eventually, my path brought me to GW and to the Elliott School, where, since 2011, I've had the privilege of teaching wonderful students like you, and now winning this award. You may wonder, why am I telling you all? The path I took was hard, it had a lot of bumps, and I don't necessarily recommend it. But when I think of my version of the decision, I have no regrets. And I think my story offers a few lessons uh, that I want to share as my charge to you today. First, follow your dreams. Even when doing so seems uh, frightening and difficult and filled with uncertainty. Believe me, I tried to talk myself out of going back to grad school for six years for a long time, but for some reason, I knew in my heart of hearts that it was what I wanted to do. Listen to that inner voice. Second, believe in yourself, even when it feels like nobody else does. Only you know what you're capable of. When I arrived at Chicago, I asked a famous professor if I could be his research assistant. He said, no way. After I took his class, he asked me to be his research assistant. Third, work hard, even when it's exhausting. Go all in in pursuit of your goals. I remember plenty of nights splashing cold water on my face at 2 a.m. and then getting up and meeting friends at 7 a.m. in the dead of a Chicago winter uh, to go over notes for class that morning. Sometimes it hurts, but hard work and good work gets rewarded. Fourth, be yourself. There's only one you. Why would you want to be somebody else? When I began to let more of my personality come out in the classroom, it made me a better teacher. Embrace your inner whatever you are. Fifth, finally, once you get there, wherever that is, make a difference for people. When I interact with students, I often think about the mentors who went the extra mile for me. They didn't have to do that. None of us have to do that, but I hope that you will help and inspire others as we have tried to help and inspire you here at the Elliott School. Now, I'll leave you with the words of one of my favorite philosophers, Dr. Zeus. Congratulations, today is your day. You're off to great places, you're off and away. You have brains in your head, you have feet in your shoes, you can steer yourself any direction you choose. But out there, things can happen, and frequently do, to people as brainy and footsy as you. And when things start to happen, don't worry, don't stew. Just go right along, 
you'll start happening too. Oh, the places you'll go. Congratulations, Elliott School graduates of the class of 2020.